Hi, engineer. How are you? I'm all right. How are you doing this morning? I'm very well, thank you. I just got off the Zoom with your wonderful young co-stars who were an absolute delight, aren't they? Aren't they a delight, those two? Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, yeah. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, it's really, really wonderful. Uh, I know the film's called King Richard, but, you know, the story goes behind every great man is a great woman. Oracine is a tremendous woman and she's done so many amazing things. How how was it for you playing her? Because not only are you playing someone like her that has her personality and her traits, but also she's someone who's still with us. So there's a, a unique pressure. So I just wondered what that experience was like for you and why you were so drawn to, to this story. Yeah, well, the here's the thing with, with um, the wonder of Miss Orsine Price is that she was not behind him, she was beside him. Mm -hmm. And I think that I think that's what was the drive for me in, in, in wanting to be a part of this ultimately beyond like my, you know, loving the Williams sisters so much is that I wanted to be a part of something where we have we got to know who their mother was. We have a perception of her as this woman in the stands cheering her daughters on, you know, but we don't know the other side of it, which is that she was as much their coach as their father was. Um, so she, she, yes, being a cheering, wonderful mother, yes, she was that, but she also was, you know, central to their play to their careers and everything else we know about the Williams sisters and I mean I was just talking to the girls about how inspirational Serena and Venus are for for lots of different people but also for young women such as the, the you know the lovely ladies that play them for yeah. you I mean what, what is it that that for you that makes them so so special because they've done so much they're not just sports people they're just wonderful strong women that have done so much for for the world in many ways yeah, that's exactly, exactly. I mean, I'm not that big of a tennis fan, but <laughs> I am a Venus and Serena fan. And the way that they have sort of changed the culture, you know, not just changed the culture of tennis, but changed the culture in terms of, you know, how we think about pay, how women are compensated for, you know, the work that they do, um, the way that they dress, you know, I mean, the, the, in, the tennis industry has tried to police the genius of the Williams sisters since they've been on the court and they have never been able to do that. And that's just so inspiring and motivating. And, you know, whether they play tent, them playing tennis is kind of secondary to just the, you know, the giants of culture that I think that they are. Yeah, there's a wonderful scene about giving away any spoilers for anybody. You and Will, I think you know which scene I'm talking about. That's quite powerful. There's there's quite a lot of things going on. But when I wondered when you do a scene like that and you're it's so kind of intense and and you're kind of let free and to, to bring the words to life, is there something afterwards that you have to do to kind of bring yourself back down again to kind of calm yourself down? Is there is there something that that you did afterwards to to get you back into, you know, a calmness if you like? Right. Well, I get, you know, I get that question and it's sort of like, you know, do you got to, you, you take baths, <laughs> you know, <laughs> light the candles, you know, and it's so funny, you know, for me, I love that, you know, I love doing those, that kind of work, you know, and doing that kind of work opposite Will Smith. I mean, you know, I don't, I didn't feel, I, there's a song called No Ways Tired. I felt no ways tired. I was so energized and so happy. And the other part of it is, is that I got to say what I know Miss Orsine, if she were, if she, she doesn't like, she doesn't need the limelight, right? But I love the idea that I get to tell the world who she is. And I was just so happy and excited about that. Yeah. And just finally, I just wanted to ask you about about Will's performance, because he's so he's such a big star. But when he comes to these kind of roles, he really kind of delves deep into them. He really kind of puts aside the Will Smith of it all and really commits. Yes. Um, was that something that I can imagine you, when you saw him, that the kind of Will Smith persona kind of disappears and he really put himself into this one? Full investment, full investment. You know, he doesn't have to do this anymore. He has nothing to prove, right? Nothing to prove. And I walked in the first day of rehearsal. He had post-it notes all on the windows, you know, and it was just every beat of the, of the script was on the windows, you know, it was on the window. And I was like, look at this dude, you know, his commitment, his dedication to wanting to honor Mr. Williams properly, I, I just was, it's a lesson. It's an, it was an education for me.
Absolutely. Anjanu, thank you so much for your time. And may I just say, I hope that at some point you get your Academy Award nomination for this because you are you are so, so good in it. Fingers crossed for you. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. Cheers. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.